So right now I got a call. Customers' vehicles in the ditch. This is what I love doing. I am a happy hooker. <laughs> There's vehicles passing me by. They're going faster, but if they lose control, I'm right behind to pick them out of the ditch. <laughs> If you look on the road, then you can actually see it looks like the road is a little wet. That's what we call up here is lack ice. It looks like the road is fine, but this truck is almost at 20,000 pounds. If I do hit the brakes, this truck will slide until it collides into something and stops by itself. There is a vehicle right there on its side. We haven't got a call for it, but I'm assuming we're going to be back to pick it up. Business does pick up when it's uh, icier conditions. There's better money in my pocket. I do have a big family to feed. <laughs> Alaska, it's my home. But my wife and six kids are in Missouri, closer to family. The reason I came back up here, jobs don't pay as good down there. I have to work my butt off as much as I can to bring my family back up here. So we're almost here, but as you see, somebody decided to stop and try to help them drive it out of the ditch but they were not successful of getting it out all the way. So that's why uh, you gotta wait for us to come out there and get you out safely. So I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. It's black ice on the road, parked on the bend where the cars can't see me. If I don't do this job quickly, I'm gonna be the next one calling for help. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay. Yeah. I'm glad you're okay. There was oncoming traffic and they were swerving over into my lane. So I um, went over and tried to get out of their way into the ditch and ended up flipping around and falling into the ditch. I'm going to get you out. Okay, okay. So this is what we call a kill zone right here. So if the car does lose control, even though I'm trying to get them bypassed, if they run into me, they're crushing me and they're killing me with my own truck. This is, this is what I like to do. This is what I'm in for. Love helping our people. Do I want to die? No. I'm going to use my side puller. I'm going to pull the front end over. Ah, oh, damn it. If you don't mind, grab a hold of your steering wheel and don't let it turn. Any simple thing that the customer could do for a tow truck operator makes it a lot easier for everybody. So right now, I got to get the back end out of the ditch. Oh. I'm going to be working from the passenger side because it's a little safer. Right now, I'm in the kill zone, trying to get this job done as fast as I can. You try to steer that way. Let off your brakes. Put it in drive, and slowly let the vehicle roll forward. Oh, oh, easy, easy. There's no match for snow and ice. I'm out of options. Sometimes I just got to use my muscles to get the car out. All right. Ready? Go. Keep it going. My boss doesn't like it when I do that. But shh, don't tell her we're just keeping it between you and I. <laughs> Put it in drive and try to drive forward. Nice and slow, nice and slow. There we go. You want to pull into that driveway right there? I'll meet you over there. Sometimes you just need a little proper muscle like me to just give it a little hump for the vehicle to start moving. Yeah, it was a little pain in the butt, but I'm glad you called the insurance company so you don't have to pay out of pocket. Uh, you might need to go get snow tires put on. I have them ordered. They're on their way. It's really slick out here, so please be really careful. I hope I made your day. Yes, you did. Awesome. Appreciate it. I'll see you later and just be real safe on there, OK? I was already exhausted out of terms of how to get the vehicle out of the ditch from it sliding back into the ditch. So I had to use my body power to push it out. <laughs> when I used to do bodybuilding, I was in a 1,000 pound club. Uh, basically, within three lifts, you were able to pick up 1,000 pounds. I still do a lot of weightlifting. And uh, if anybody wants to try me,